Hi friends, thank you for joining me again today for another fun activity. We are going to be doing a math activity today with shapes. Um, we are actually going to be going on a shape hunt later in the video, but before we get to our shape hunt, we need to review the four shapes that we've learned already um, to this point. So I'm going to hold up a picture of the shapes and I want you to call out and tell me what the name of the shape is. Are you ready? All right. Very good, this is a circle and there were two special words we used to describe our circle. Turn those thinking caps on and think about it. What are those two special words? Those two special words, very good. We when we talk about our circles we say our circles are round because they have no sides and they are curved very good you guys are so smart so so smart for remembering that are you ready for our next shape all right our next shape is a rectangle awesome yes and our rectangles are special because they have sides and they have points um, let's count how many sides our rectangle has. One, two, three, four. Very good. So our rectangles have four sides. Are all of the sides of our rectangle equal? Are they the same length? They don't look like the same length to me. It looks like there's two short sides and two long sides. Very good. So our rectangle also has four points. Who can think back and remember? What do we call those points? What's the special name for those points? Think about it. Very good. Yes, we call those points vertices, and there are four of them. Wonderful job. I'm going to put our shape back here on my shapes board. Stick it up there. All right. Next shape is... A square, awesome, very good. This is a square. Let's count how many sides our square has. One, two, three, four, just like our rectangle. But what's different about our square compared to our rectangle? Take a nice look. Our square is different, very good, because all of the sides on the square are equal. They're the same size, they're the same length. Very good. Let's count how many vertices our square has. Ready? One, two, three, four. Very good, four vertices on a square. I'm gonna put that shape up on our shape board. There. And we have one more shape to go. Are you ready? A triangle, very good, yes, we do have a triangle. How many sides does our triangle have? I want you to look, I want you to point on the screen and count them for me, and then shout out your answer. Three, very good, a triangle has one, two, three sides. Can you remind me what the name of our points are called? I can't seem to remember. Vertices, yes, that's the word. How many vertices does our triangle have? Well, let's count. One, two, three. Very good, three vertices on our triangle. So now that we've reviewed all of the shapes we've learned so far, now we are ready to go on our shape hunt. So I actually have a very special guest that's going to um, help me right now explain and talk about what we're going to do on our shape hunt. Who's going to join us in a second? Special guest, please join us. This may be a familiar face to some of you guys. This is my sister, Miss Callie. Miss Callie is joining us today to help us out a little bit. Can everyone say hi, Miss Callie? Hello, everyone. So, Miss Callie and I are going to start to get ready for our shape hunt. So, what's going to happen is, you are going to need a pencil. You may also use a marker, you may also use a crayon, a pen, anything that can write. I'm going to use a pencil, Miss Callie's also going to use a pencil. The next thing you will need is 
a piece of paper. I use my notebook paper. However, you can also use scrapbook paper um, or a napkin or anything that you can write on for this. You do not need a full sheet. We ripped ours in half, so we just have a little half sheet there, okay? And the next thing we are going to do, this is going to be our special list, almost like a grocery list that you take to the store with you. You're going to write all your things you need, and then when you get them at the grocery store, oh, I got my bread, check, and you cross it off. That's what this is going to look like today. This is going to be our grocery list, okay? So on this grocery list, on our shape list, we have to draw our four shapes that we've learned because those are the four shapes that we are going to be looking for when we go out searching on our shape hunt. So, Miss Callie, what shape would you like to draw first on our list? I think we should first draw a circle. I like that idea, a circle. So I'm not going to draw a big circle on here. I am going to draw a littler circle up at the top like this. Oh, oh goodness. Okay, you can't. There we go. <laughs> now you can see it. Sorry about that. So there's a little circle up top there. Perfect size. You go ahead and draw your circle. Miss Callie, what shape would you like to draw next? Let's draw a triangle. A triangle. Remember, friends, when we draw our triangle, I always say it's like making a capital or uppercase letter A and then connect the points at the bottom. And there's my triangle. I have my circle, my triangle. Two more shapes, Miss Callie. What shape should we draw next? Let's draw a square. A square. Remember, all sides of the square are. Equal. Equal. Very good. And there's my square. And we have one more shape to go. And what shape is that, Miss Callie? Last but not least, let's draw a rectangle. A rectangle. Remember when you're drawing a rectangle that two of the sides are short. We have two short sides. I'm going to show you before I finish my rectangle. I drew my two short sides. And then I'm going to connect those, the ends of my lines to make the rest of my rectangle. So there we go, I have a nice long rectangle there. So there's all my shapes. My grocery list, my shapes list is finished. So I'm just about ready to go on my shape hunt. So when you go on your shape hunt, you are going to go walk around your house. You may go on the inside of your house. You may look on the outside of your house. Just don't go too far. If you're outside, don't go near anyone in the neighborhood. Just stay on your property um, and you'll stay safe and you'll be fine. But you're going to go look for certain for these shapes. So the first shape on our list is a circle. So I'm going to look around and I'm looking around the room I am in in my house. And I'm going to look for a circle. And let's see. I see a circle fan. So I found my circle. I found it. Just like you find your bread and you grab your bread at the grocery store, you're going to cross it off. Make an X. So I found my circle. I cross it off. And then next to it, I'm going to draw a picture of the circle object that I found. So I found a fan. So I'm going to do my best to draw a picture of this fan that I found. It may not be the most pretty picture, but that's okay. We are all special artists in our own way. So there is my circle fan. So circle is done. Next, I'm going to look for a triangle. So I'll search around the room, and look for a triangle. Miss Callie, do you see a triangle around here? Um, That's a difficult one. That is a really, really challenging one. Well, our lights are kind of a triangle. The lights? Where? These lights. Those lights are kind of like a triangle. Yeah, we'll say that. I found a light that is shaped like a triangle. Actually, you know what? A lamp. A lampshade is shaped like a triangle. So I'm going to draw my lampshade. And I'll even draw the, um, the stem or the pole of the lamp as well. And there's my triangle. Oops, I forgot something. Miss Callie, what did I forget to do? You forgot to cross it off your list. Silly me. 
Silly, silly me. There we go. Now we're all set. So I will keep going until I find all of these shapes in my house. And then when you are finished, well, your shape hunt is over. I would really love for when you finish to send me pictures of you doing the shape hunt, drawing pictures of the items you found around your house that are these shapes. That would be absolutely fabulous. If you're walking around your house and you see more than one circle object, you may go ahead and use this space over here to draw that as well. That's like extra bonus points if you do that, if you find more than one shape. So I think we're ready to go on our shape hunt. But first, I have a special song for you that we are going to do before we go. So it goes like this. I'm going to say um, the words, you will repeat me. Same thing. Miss Callie does not know my shape song yet. So she will repeat me and we'll do this together. Are you ready? All right, it goes like this. I'm going on a shape hunt. I'm going on a shape hunt. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I got my pencil in my hand and my list of shapes, too. I got my pencil in my hand and my list of shapes, too. I'm going on a shape hunt. I'm going on a shape hunt. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I've got my pencil in my hand and my list of shapes, too. I got my pencil in my hand and my list of shapes, too. That was awesome. Great job, my friends. You sound like you are ready to get this shape hunt started. So I'm going to let you go. Please send me pictures. I'd love to see all of the shapes you find and have so much fun. I'll see you later. Bye.